Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another Forever Mood candle review. And this video, I contemplate on not making it because this candle line has been out for a while, so I'm sure y'all have already had enough time to test it out. But since I got it for Christmas, I wanted to review it anyway, because it's honestly one of my favorite lines, I think. And it is the core collection from Forever Mood. I got the mini gift set for Christmas, and let's go ahead and talk about them. So this gift set comes with four mini candles, it has caked up, left on red, matcha business, and cuffing season. And it comes with this little sleeve over it. Sorry if it's a little dirty because I had this for like a month now. But take the sleeve off to reveal this cute little box. If I can stop struggling. There we go. Box looks like this. Has a Forever Mood logo on the front. And like this little pink and white design on it. Looks really cute. And it says open to get lit at the bottom. And also has your candle burning instructions on the bottom. Not sure if it's gonna focus so y'all can see it, but it says mood activated XOXO Jackie Ina as well. Y'all see that? And this is what the candles look like. They're very cute. And they're also a really nice way to test out the candles if you're not sure if you wanna buy the bigger candles, like the mini candles are great as far as getting a sense of what the scents smell like. That's a little tongue twister. But yeah, and the throw on these, given that this is a mini one wick candle, is actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and talk about these. I'm gonna go ahead and share my favorite candle of this line, which is actually really hard to decide because the, one of the first Forever Mood candles I tried was Matcha Business. So I've already tried this one and I have the Cuffing Season Room Spray. I've had that for like maybe a year, but I had never, tried left on red or caked up. So I was really happy to get this candle set for Christmas for my sister, shout out to her. But my favorite candle, I don't know if it's because it's like a little sentimental to me because it's my first Forever Mood candle or one of my first Forever Mood candles. It's definitely gonna be, I was trying to get it out the box. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be matcha business. I love this little green mini candle. If you love gourmand scents, this whole candle collection is gonna be for you because they all smell really good. But matcha business, let me go ahead and read the notes out to y'all. Because we have our notes on the back. Shout out to them for that. Okay, matcha business. For the top notes, we got hazelnut coffee, which I love in candles. Almond milk and honey. For the heart notes, we got coffee and lavender. And for the base, we got vanilla. Now listen to that combination. You know this candle is the one for you. So when I first burned this candle, the thing that jumped out to me the most was definitely that coffee. And as I continue to burn it, I still get that coffee note. Like it smells so good y'all so so good and hey big head is my favorite all time forever move candle but it hasn't been on stock on their website in a long time and honestly i can't find it anymore so this is like the next best thing because that coffee note is hidden if you like your place to smell like a coffee shop what you doing matcha business is that for you but it's like a sweet coffee smell and i think that's attributed to like the honey as well i think the coffee note in this is so strong because Hazelnut coffee is one of the top notes, but for the heart, you got coffee as well. And then the base of vanilla, like, it's like the perfect coffee drink. So yeah, this is my absolute favorite from the line. But I had to think about it for a while because y'all know I said I haven't tried Left on Red. But when I burned Left on Red, I was like, hold on. Matcha Visions might got some competition, but I had to burn it again. I was like, nah, I like, I like Matcha Visions a little better. But my second favorite is definitely Left on Red. It's really cute. I love this little purple mini candle. And for the notes, this one has tropical fruit for the top note. For the heart notes, you got coconut and coconut milk. And for the base, you got caramel. And I typically don't like the smell of anything coconut, but this I think is mixed really well. So it doesn't really smell like pearly coconut. It really smells very sweet. Like I think the caramel just comes through a lot stronger than I thought it was gonna come through. Cause I thought it was gonna be like coconut heavy, but this is a good mix. I think I'm getting more of the caramel, but like it's not just caramel where it's like sickeningly, sickeningly, is that a word? Sweet. So yeah, it honestly reminds me a lot of matcha business. So if you like matcha business and you've been thinking about trying Left on Red, try it. Cause it does smell really good. And it also gives me that coffee shop vibes too. So yeah, and that's honestly one thing I can say about this whole candle collection. Out of all the candle collections that I've tried from Forever Move, I think this collection itself, it's like a little furry thing. 
out of this collection itself, I think all of these candles smell very similar. And I'm not saying that any of the candles from the other collections don't smell similar, but I think if I'm comparing all four of these candles versus all four candles in any in any of the other collections, these these ones smell the most similar, which I really like because I'm gonna just go ahead and give y'all a little spoiler. I did like all of these candles. My previous experience of trying like the Forever Mood candles, there's always, well not always, there's usually at least one candle that I'm not too fond of, but I like all of these because they smell so similar to each other, which is also why it was hard to make this video because I didn't know like which one I liked the most. But that's just another sign, this is a good collection. But anywho, let's go ahead and go on to my third favorite candle. So the next one, it's going to have to be cuffing season. Like I mentioned to y'all before, I have this room spray, so I already kind of knew what it smelled like. But I was excited to try it out in the candle version, which I think I like a lot. Because the room spray itself, it lasts a really long time in my apartment. So I was like, I know I'm, I don't like this smell in here. But as far as the notes go, we got fresh ozone, salty lemon, and mineral citrus for the top notes. For the heart notes, you got iris, violet, and jasmine. And for the base, you got Douglas fir. Try to make sure I can see these small words. Rainforest moss and white cedar. This is a very interesting mix. Like, if I'm thinking about which notes jump out to me the most, ooh, I really don't even know because I think this is mixed so well. Because when I first had the room spray, it was a smell where I just like, I can't even tell you what I'm smelling, but I know it smells nice and fresh. So I keep it in my bathroom, like the room spray. But I don't even know which one of the notes jumped out to me the most because it definitely has like a citrusy vibe to it. This kind is more on the fruity side than on the gourmand side, which is not a bad thing, especially if you like something that's fresh and just want to give your, your place of like a little uplifting vibe. But I really cannot tell y'all which one of the notes jumped out to me the most because it, it definitely has a citrusy vibe, which means that salty lemon is definitely coming through somehow. But... I couldn't tell you to my nose which one of the other notes jump out to me the most. So if you tried this candle or the room spray, let me know which ones jump out to you the most because I honestly can't tell you. But all right, let's go ahead and go on to my fourth favorite candle. I ain't going to say least favorite but I mean, because I like this one too. And it is obviously caked up. The mini candle comes into like this little peach little mini candle. And honestly very similar to the box. And for the notes on this one, we got roasted pistachio for the top note, along with almond cream and pineapple. Then for the heart notes, you got honey, jasmine, and coconut. Then for the base, you got vanilla bean and musk. I love vanilla bean and candles. Y'all know that. And I guess I'm starting to like honey a lot too because it adds like an extra layer of sweetness, especially when you pair it with like a coffee or like a vanilla note. I think that's just a good combination. So it also gives the coffee shop vibes. So when I burn this candle, I definitely want to say the roasted pistachio definitely comes through because it has like this nutty smell to it, but it's also really sweet too. So I think the honey and the vanilla come through as well. It really didn't smell like a whole lot of pineapple when I burned it the first few times. And I really didn't get a whole lot of the coconut either, which I wasn't mad about. But this is a perfect candle as well. This candle collection is fire. So if you want to get introduced to the Forever Mood candles, this one is a great one to start with this whole line like i feel like it's hard to hate any of these candles they are these are all really great candles but anywho have you tried this candle collection if you did which one is your favorite leave it in the comments below and also check out all of my other candle reviews because i've reviewed almost all of the forever mood candle collections and there will be more to come so i hope you enjoyed this video hit that like button and the subscribe button and i will see you back here next time for my next video bye